Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dame and today I'm going to teach you how to get and unlock the Pack-A-Punch the Tesla Gun which gives you this beauty that you can see on screen. Not only that, you can also Pack-A-Punch all your melee weapons so you have exactly the same melee weapons as the Shadowed Throne with all its abilities, for example the Baseball Bat and the Knife as well and you can also upgrade and Pack-A-Punch the Rip Saw from the Darkest. Sure, this tutorial is for the third map only, there's going to be three separate tutorials, you can do this on every single map in different ways, but this one is for map 3, the survival map only, the altar of blood. Before we jump into the video, we're doing a giveaway for a DLC free digital download code for PlayStation Four. It's about five days left. I will pin a comment down below and leave it near the top of the description as well. Just have to subscribe, leave a like, go over and do a few more little things for your chance to have more entries into the competition as well and it will be ending in about five days. So straight into the tutorial, the first thing you're going to have to do is put a code into the wall in the altar of blood but the only way to get this said code is by going into the two previous maps first. Now luckily for you I already have the code so there is no reason to go back into the two maps to find these actual codes. They're actually runes and there's 14 of them spread over the course of both maps. There's a few locations now for the first map and there's a few locations on screen now for the second map but you really don't need to bother actually looking for these. We've not actually found all of them yet. We've only found 11 I believe out of 14 but the code that you need to put in on the third map is always the same and you can also put it in any order as you wish. So if you take yourself into the third map, the altar of blood, you need to take yourself up to the main door where you would input a rune code. Now these are not able to be pushed in like the actual playlist but on survival if you shoot the correct ones they will light up. You can see an image on screen now the ones that are actually lit up and I'll put a PNG up now of the actual code you need to use. So excuse my translation here of what they are but it's B, a sign that looks like more than, less than. You've also got like an upside down L, an M, a lowercase t, a lowercase n and also something that looks like a Y with a little bit of extra light at the top. All you have to do is shoot each symbol in any particular order and it will light up and stay lit until you have input all seven symbols. After you have finished that, all you need to do is take yourself back down to the spawn where you spawn in on a particular map. And you take yourself over to this wall where you would usually find a rune in the main Easter egg quest. But instead of there being a rune, there will be somewhat of a battery. It's a little red circular object. You hold square and pick this object up and it will automatically be put into the pack a punch machine as you can see as well on the screen and that from there is pretty much all the easter eggy stuff you have to do to do it. The next step is you have to go to round 25 to be able to upgrade the Tesla weapon itself but if you would like to upgrade the melee weapons you're going to have to go to round 30. So I've done all mine on round 30 so take no notice of the round that I'm on now. I just saved up all my points until round 30 so it's easier for me to get the footage. And in this particular footage I was able to pack a punch the Tesla gun which makes it golden because of the camo and it's now a pack a punch Tesla gun. I was able to pack a punch the Ripsaw which now made it into the pack a punch version you get from the darkest shore. I was also able to pack a punch the baseball bat the pickaxe and the trench knife as well that gives you all the same abilities so the base part has a melee that shoots out a spark you have the trench knife that's able to acquire you a shield when you use the l2 attack on a zombie and you've also got the pickaxe which allows you to run really fast for a short amount of time when it comes to the melee weapons is a little bit late in the rounds for them to be pretty much any use at all the ripsaw just like the darkest shore is very useful but the tesla gun itself has an insane fire rate on it. You now get about 70 to 80 bullets or 90 including the actual clip itself and the fire rate is insanely fast as you can see on screen now. Coupled with free fire, the thing is a beast. It is not very powerful. Coupled with something like insta kill, it's gonna do very, very well for you but it's not the most powerfulest of guns. It is a bit of fun and if you're gonna be going to wave 30 on a survival map, I wouldn't suggest this sort of weapon for that. Though it can get you out of some sticky situations, but it does somewhat freeze all the zombies that are around you and it also freezes wastlings in its steps as well. Before you ask, we've already tried to upgrade the sword via Pack-a-Punch and it's not available. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be available at all. So the sword is not able to be Pack-a-Punch, which is a shame and I've not actually tried a shovel either. So I'm not sure if the shovel can be Pack-a-Punch, but I highly doubt it can be either. 
But that's pretty much it, guys. You do a few steps at the beginning, you hit yourself to rank 25 for the Tesla gun, take yourself to rank 30 for the melee weapons, and you can finally pack a punch. Rip the dream, no double pack a punch. I know we thought we was getting it, but unfortunately it's not. But anyway, homies, I hope the tutorial has helped you out. If you would like any more tutorials, we've got one, how to unlock the sword in the survival maps. There's gonna be a few more down below of how to pack a punch the Tesla on the second map and the actual first map. And I'm gonna put them all in, in the description down below. So if you wanna check these tutorials out as well, be sure to go down and check them out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to go down there, leave a thumbs up, it is always appreciated. Leave a comment as well if you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're doing a lot of zombies content lately. DLC's just dropped. You need some tutorials? You know a place to come. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified of exactly when I upload my videos. And if that fails to work, please follow me on Twitter at DamonThatGame because you will always be notified of my uploads there. But homies, hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, evening, night, or morning. But until the next one, it's your boy Dane.